I have been uh, out of the country for two weeks, not four weeks, two weeks, and got myself some tan. <laughs> I hope that you uh, are well, and today we are gonna cook some food. So yeah, we're gonna do a food prep video today. So I'm gonna show you what I have bought in the store. First of all, I'm gonna say that I have no problem at all eating the same food every day for weeks, weeks, weeks. Seriously. I don't have any problem with eating chicken every day, um, uh, fish, uh, salmon, uh, potatoes, I don't have a problem with that. Um, so this is gonna be the way that I cook my food and this is uh, the way that I prepare my food. Uh, chicken, and then we have regular potatoes, we have sweet potatoes, we have uh, pa par parsnip, parsnip, parsnips. <laughs> oh my god, no, the heat is right there. Uh, parsnips and then we have salmon and I have bought some broccoli that we are gonna cook I am gonna chop these three up in small pieces or if yeah if you want to do like uh, chips kind of this round thingies you can do that that as well so to fry the the chicken I'm using women's best coconut oil so we're gonna steam that in this one uh, also, when I'm using the oven, I can tell you this, this as well, because I don't know how long I'm gonna have them in. I don't have like this, oh, 10 minutes, 4 minutes, 14 minutes. I'm just speeding up the oven at max and then I'm taking the, the uh, quick warm uh, thing. Yeah, I have one of those. Uh, so I'm choosing that one and I'm maxing the oven up in like the max max uh, and then I'm gonna put the this plates I'm gonna put that as high up in the oven as I can and the potatoes is gonna uh, roast quickly when you do that is done I used to do like two of these and uh, we are now gonna sprinkle some olive oil over you don't have to have olive oil if you don't want to but it's gonna get the potatoes more crispy if you use the olive oil and by just using a little bit that's not bad and we are also gonna use some spices the spices today will be this one, this is like a potato spice. We're also gonna use some uh, lemon pepper. And I'm gonna use some fresh uh, basil. And the olive oil that we're just gonna sprinkle over. And then I'm gonna chop this and sprinkle over. I'm gonna place it as high up as it goes, like that. And I have it on 100, 250 degrees. And meanwhile, the potatoes are in the oven, we are gonna prepare the salmon. And I'm gonna place that one in this 
and that's also gonna go in the oven but under 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 the, the potatoes that's kind of a good degree for cooking the salmon so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna shut the broccoli up that's gonna go in this one and we're gonna prepare the chicken I'm gonna use some fresh um, garlic and also a uh, um, piece of the spices that I showed you for the potatoes I have placed the salmon in this and uh, I have put some of the uh, coconut oil in the bottom of this so it don't get burned uh, and I'm gonna use this one again it's the lemon pepper I'm gonna take that one I love this one <laughs> really like lemon and I'm also having this one it's like lemon lemon juice I'm gonna take a little bit of that you can also use the fresh one I forgot to buy that one actually so I'm using this and more of this basil fresh basil I love that as well so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna chop it up and put it there green and nice of course you can use uh, which spices you like on your food but this is the spices that I usually use in my food so this is gonna go in the oven while we are putting in the salmon you can also check the potatoes and see how they are doing and it seems fine um, I'm gonna have them in a little bit longer like two or three minutes and then I'm gonna place them a little bit down in the oven so a little longer and we also have put the broccoli in this one and it's on and now we are gonna go for the uh, chicken I have placed the coconut oil in this pan and we're gonna fry them for my chicken I'm gonna use some spices as well uh, I love to have spicy food and I'm using garlic powder and some fresh garlic I'm not gonna kiss anyone so I don't care uh, and more of this lemon pepper this is like a drug to me right now I love it you know I love a lot of stuff but this one is good and I'm now gonna switch place on the salmon and my potatoes I'm gonna place the potatoes um, down first we have to move this up okay I'm gonna burn myself right now mm. no I dropped potatoes Lord how will I get these up okay it's good to have nails ah! Ah! okay so the, this one oh, the salmon is gonna go up over the potatoes because I want to have the potatoes a little bit longer in the oven but I want to have them a little bit further down down in the oven because they are gonna get roasted and crispy so healthy healthy food doesn't have to be boring it can be so good and taste good <laughs> broccoli is done and it smells so good in here look at these crispy little mother yeah nice look at these they are done I like when they are a little bit burned if you if you're wondering, I like them when they are like this. You can also take this. You don't have to do it with your hands. But they look really yummy, don't they? And the salmon. It's also done. 
good broccoli and my chicken if you are counting macros and if you are counting uh, calories and grams and stuff you can eat so much more potatoes versus if you eat like rice or pasta or something like that you can eat so much more amount if you choose potatoes and that's why I'm choosing potatoes I love potatoes so guys my food is ready we have the chicken, we have the salmon, we have the broccoli and the potatoes and parsnips. So this is, now I have only uh, done like one plate of the uh, potatoes. Usually I do two plates of it so I have a lot of food. And this, I'm, I'm placing it like this and then I'm placing it in my refrigerator. Uh, and when I get hungry or when I come home from training or yeah, when I'm gonna eat my food Then I'm just going to the refrigerator and I pick out the food that I want I'm also gonna show you how a normal plate for me looks like when I have the, the food ready to eat uh, I don't count my macarons, I don't count like grams or um, calories um, at all actually I like to have my food simple when it don't take so much time to do you can do stuff when you have the potatoes in the oven or the chicken on the stove I like to have it easy and I really like this food so that's why I'm eating it um, I used to have chicken and something more like fish if I use salmon or if I use cod or something like that. Um, I try to have two of the proteins and I almost always eat potatoes because yeah I love it so why not eat it. This is how a plate looks like when I'm loading up like lunch or dinner. If it's after I have worked out, then I put more potatoes on it. But this is how it usually, usually looks like. For those of you who had followed me for a while, you know that I have competed in fitness uh, competitions uh, before. And when you are uh, doing that, you are like living with a food scale. So you learn how to, when you have done it for a long time, then you you can like I measure the food without the scale after a while. So I have a little bit of that with me when I'm picking out the food on my plate. Um, I try not to think about it as much because I don't, I don't want to live like that. I want to eat my food and I want to enjoy it. So I'm placing protein, I'm placing fats and I'm placing carbs on my plates and on my meals during the day and I eat six times a day. So breakfast and then I eat a snack, the rice cakes or avocados, um, uh, nuts, walnuts, uh, cashew nuts, um, like uh, low fat yogurt with some topping on it, something like that. Uh, and then I eat lunch and I eat my dinner and I eat some kind of uh, slow protein before I go to bed, like egg whites or cassie protein. So that's how I live and I really enjoy my food. So I wouldn't eat something that I didn't like. I don't have any problems with having my, um, uh, my food in the refrigerator and take it uh, from the refrigerator, put it on a plate and in the microwave. I don't have any problem with more warming up the food. So I'm choosing to uh, spend some time in the kitchen for like one to two hours max uh, when I have the free time because I want to have the food ready when I come home. If you are like stressed in school or you have a lot of work or you can't find the, find the time to, to cook your food and then 
you solve the problem with like fast food or just something to eat and it all goes wrong and yeah you don't have the time to cook so you take something else and it's very easy to to uh, get to the the unhealthy food when it is like that so why don't take the time to stand in the kitchen for a few few uh, hours and cook the food so you have the food ready i do i do this because i know that i have a stressed uh, stressed days when i'm working and when i uh, go to the gym and um, yeah if you have a lot of do yeah. if you have a lot to do then it's so good to come home just open the refrigerator and you have the food done you just have to put it in the microwave and you have good and healthy food that's why I'm doing this so my tip to you prepare your food really take the time to prepare your food because it's gonna be so much more easy for you to eat healthy and eat good I really hoped that you liked my little video today with the food and I hope you wanna uh, continue following me I know that I have been a little bit bad on my um, YouTube lately and I have had so much like bad updates so I'm gonna get better at this now that I am home again so we are gonna kick this Thank you so much for following guys and thank you so much for watching. Please, please subscribe my YouTube channel so we can continue doing this. I really love it and I'm so grateful every day for all of your comments and for following. It really means a lot, truly. Love, love and kisses! <laughs>